Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the dead peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, Amen, Amen. God answers prayer. Lord, I am calling to you for help. You are my safe place like a high rock. Please do not refuse to listen to me. If you do not answer me, I will be like those who are going down into the deep hole of death. Hear me when I call out to you for help. Please be kind to me. I am lifting up my hands towards your most holy place. Do not pull me away to punishment as you do with wicked people. Those people do evil things. They say kind words to their friends, but really they want to hurt them. Punish them for their sins. Give back to them what they deserve. Yes, punish them. That is the fair thing to do. They do not want to understand the things that the Lord has done or the things that He has made. The Lord will punish them and He will remove them forever. We should praise the Lord. He has been kind to me when I call to Him for help. The Lord makes me strong. He keeps me safe like a shield. I trust in Him completely and He has helped me. I am very happy and I will thank Him with my sons. sons. The Lord makes His people strong. He is a safe and strong place for the King that He has chosen. Lord, save your people. Bless the people who belong to you. Take care of your people like a shepherd. Always carry them in your arms. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. 
this storm, all you angels in heaven, say how great the Lord is. Say that the Lord rules with power. Say that the Lord's name is great. Worship the Lord for who He is and remember that He is holy. The voice of the Lord shouts over the water. The God of glory makes the noise of thunder. The Lord appears over the great sea. The Lord's voice is powerful. It has the authority of a king. When the Lord shouts, even the cedar trees break. Yes, the Lord breaks the great cedar trees of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon jump like a calf. He causes Hermon Mountain to shake like a young ball jumps. The Bible, Matthew 18, part 1 to 10, the greatest in the kingdom. About that time, the followers came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the God's kingdom? Jesus called a little child to come to him. He stood the child in front of the followers. Then he said, The truth is, you must change your thinking and become like that these little children. If you don't do this, you will never enter God's kingdom. The greatest person in God's kingdom is the one who makes himself humble like this child. Whoever accepts a little child like this in my name is accepting me. But if you cause that child to sin, it will be very bad for that person. It would be better for them to have a millstone tied around their neck and be drowned in the deep sea. I feel sorry for the people in the world because of the things that make people sin. These things must happen, but it will be very bad for anyone who causes them to happen. If your hand or your foot makes you sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose part of your body and have eternal life than to have two hands and two feet and be thrown into the fire that burns forever. If your eyes make you sin, take it out and throw it away. It is better to go for you to have only one eye and have eternal life than to have two eyes and be thrown into fire of hell. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle Romans 8 part 1 to 17 Life in the Spirit So now anyone who is in Christ Jesus is not judged guilty. That is because in Christ Jesus the law of the Spirit that brings life made you free. It made you free from the law that brings sin and death. The law was without power because it was made weak by our sinful slaves, but God didn't did what the law could not do. He sent his own son to earth with the same human life that everyone else uses for sin. God sent him to be an offering to pay for, for son, so God used a human life to destroy sin. He did this so that we could be right just as the law said we must be. Now, we don't live following your sinful slave. We live following the spirit. People who live following their sinful slave think only about what they want. But those who live following the spirit are thinking about 
what the spirit wants them to do if you thinking is controlled by your sinful self there is a spiritual death but if your thinking is controlled by the spirit there is life and peace what is this true why is this true because anyone whose thinking is controlled by their sinful self is against God they refuse to obey God's law and really they are not able to obey it those who are ruled by their sinful slave no, cannot please God but you are not ruled by your sinful slave you are ruled by the spirit if that the spirit of God really lives in you but who, uh, whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ your body will always be dead because because of sin but if Christ is in you then the spirit gives you life because Christ made you right with God God raised because God raised Jesus from dead and if God's spirit lives in you he will also give life to your bodies that die yes God is the one who raised Christ from death and he will rise you to life through his spirit living in you so my brothers and sisters we must not be ruled by our sinful slave we must not live the way our sinful slaves want if you use your lives to do what your sinful slaves want you will die spiritually but if you use the spirit's help to stop doing the wrong things you do with your your body you will have true life the true children of god are those who let god's spirit lead them the spirit that we received is not a spirit that makes us slaves again and causes us to fear the spirit that we have makes makes us God's chosen children and with that spirit we cry out Abba Father and the spirit himself speaks to our spirits and makes us sure that we are God's children if we are God's children we will get the blessings God has for his people he will give us all that he has given Christ but he must suffer we must suffer like Christ suffered then we will be able to share his glory this is the word of Jesus thanks be to God hallelujah 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 Gospel John 12 part 37 to 50 the unbelief of the people the people saw all these miraculous signs Jesus did but they still did not believe in him this was to give full meaning to what Isaiah the prophet said Lord who believed what you what we told them who has seen the Lord's power this is why the people could not believe because Isaiah also did God made the people blind he closed their minds he did this so that they would not see with their eyes and understand with their minds he did it so that they would not turn and be healed Isaiah said this because he saw Jesus divine greatness so he spoke about him but many people believed in Jesus even many of the Jewish leaders believed in him but they were afraid of the Pharisees so they did not say openly that they believe 
They were afraid they would be ordered to stay out of the synagogue. They loved pre uh, priests uh, from people more than priests from God. Then Jesus said loudly, Everyone who believes in me is really believing in one who sent me. Everyone who sees in me really seeing the one who sent me. I came into this world as a light. I came so that everyone who believes in me will not stay in darkness. I did not come into the world to judge people. I came to save the people in the world. So I am not the one who judges those who hear my teaching and do not obey. But there is a judge for all those who refuse to believe in me and do not accept what I said. I, the message I have spoken will judge them on the last day. That is because what I thought was not from myself. The Father who sent me told me what to, to say and what to teach. And I know that whatever he says to do will bring eternal life. So the things I say are exactly what the Father told me to say. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord's voice makes fire like lightning in the sky. When the Lord shouts, the desert shakes. He makes the Kadesh desert shake. When the Lord shouts, the big oak trees bend over. The leaves fall of all the trees in the forest. But in his temple, everyone says he is great. Hallelujah. The Lord rules as king over the deep waters. The Lord will be king forever. The Lord makes his people strong. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Preaching. Pray this powerful prayer for, for God to rescue you. Do you feel you are drowning? Do you feel it is hard to stay on top? Oh, Father in heaven, my body is so tired and weary. I feel helpless and lost. I feel the enemy seeking to destroy me. I come to you and lay my burden at your feet. I want to take this moment to be in your loving presence. I want to feel your peace wash over me, cleanse my soul. I know my life will not be perfect. I come to you to ask that I may get some relief. I want to be still and rest in your loving embrace. I want to rest in your hope of future of fewer burdens. I know, Father, that I can pray for changes in my life and I ask that your Holy Spirit in intercede when I do not know what to pray. Please help me to trust your knowing your plans for me or for me, not against me. Almighty God, who created the heavens and the earth, I cannot do this without you. I surrender my all. I give you I give to you all my life, my heart, my soul and my mind. Restore me, renew me, renew my heart and fill me with uh, your joy. Strengthen me with your mighty strength, courage and patience to wait upon your perfect plan for me. Today just like every day I pray everything in your great name, Jesus. Amen. The Creed We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. 
We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, this, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I will praise you because you have saved me from death. You have not let my enemies laugh at me. Lord, my God, I call to you for help, and you have made me well again. Lord, you pulled me up out of the deep hole of death. You saved me from among those who are going into the grave. Sing to the Lord, you people who trust Him. Praise His holy name. His anger continues only for a moment, but His grace continues for our whole life. You may be sad all through the night, but in the morning you will be happy again. When I was feeling safe and strong, I thought nothing can ever destroy me. Prayers of Intercessions We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks Lord hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries, give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The Peace we are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. 
it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, for he is your living word through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross you raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions therefore we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord amen Christ is risen Christ will come again amen 
accept through him our great high lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son jesus christ our lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen the lord's prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Amen You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. But Lord, it was you who made my kingdom strong because you are so kind. But then you trusted away from me, turned. But when you turned away from me and I became very afraid, I called to you for help, Lord. I ask you to be kind to me, my Lord. If I go down into the deep hole of death, 
that will not help you my dead body cannot praise you there it cannot tell people to trust you Lord please listen to me please be kind to me Lord please be my helper now you have stopped me crying so that I dance instead you have taken away my rough clothes because I am no longer sad now you have made me very happy so I will sing to you with all that I am I cannot stay quiet Lord my God, I will continue to thank you forever. Hallelujah. Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.